Hello students, how are you all? Okay, I think all of you are fit and fine. I am so excited and so amazed to be here and experiencing the beauty of nature. We have already learned about saprophytes, epiphytes and parasites. Now we are trying to find out such kind of plants in our locality. Okay students, let's go. Okay, we have learned about epiphytes. Vanda is an example of epiphyte. Look the thick root of Vanda. Look here. Vanda absorb moisture from atmosphere through this thick root. It is a epiphyte. Look students. Another epiphyte, Drymoglossum growing on host plant. We can say it is Seeda Thali or Drymoglossum. Students, do you remember parasitic plants? Look here, Loranthus growing on mango tree. Actually, Loranthus absorb water and minerals from this host plant. Here the host plant is mango tree. Okay, dear students, we have learned about total parasite. Look here, this is cascuta, how it grows. The cascuta vine wriggle this host plant and it absorbs food from this host plant. It is a total parasite. After some days, this host plant will ruin because it absorbs the food from this host plant. You know, world's largest flower, Rafflesia, is also a total parasitic plant. Look. How Rafflesia is blooming. Okay students, look. Mushroom growing on decaying wood. You know, saprophytes absorb nutrients from decomposed matter. Here, mushroom is a saprophyte. Okay students, have you enjoyed this class? Like this, you have to find out such kinds of plants in your locality. I am sure that you are very eager to reach school, but you have to wait. Stay home, stay safe. Meet you in the next class. Thank you.